listening to Warrior Thunderbirds Kids News. Hello everyone, I'm Scholar Maya and welcome to WTKN Channel 8 News Program, Inquisitive Corner. Thank you for joining us. Today we have a very special guest. Please give a round of applause for Brother Namdi. Hello, Brother Namdi, and welcome to our program. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you for having me. I, could you please tell our Thunderbird family a little bit about yourself? Uh, my name is uh, Anamdi Chikwocha, affectionately known in the community as Brother Namdi, and I am the state representative for District 1, which Warner is a part of. Um, and being a state representative, I'm a member of the General Assembly. I work along with other legislators to help make the laws for the state of Delaware. I am also uh, the Poet Laureate, along with my twin brother Al, the twin poets, we're the Poet Laureates. And we are proud graduates of Warner. I attended Warner. Uh, many, many moons ago. I came here for fourth, fifth, and sixth grade, so it's always great to be back here. Thank you for sharing. So, I know you have a twin. What is it like having a twin, and what is it like what what was it like growing up? Having a twin is, is it's it's like having the opportunity to live two times. It's like you you get to live everything twice, experience everything twice having a brother, and it's like you're never alone. So like I don't know that feeling of like ever being lonely because my brother is always there. You always have someone who supports you. It's like your best friend is always right there with you. You know, even when he's not in the room, you can feel him. And it's it's like being twins. There's this connection. Like I, I know when my brother's sad because I get sad and I know when my brother feels happy because it makes me feel good like we're connected so twins are it's just a, it's a beautiful thing I wish everybody had a twin so they could know that feeling because it's very special and it really makes you feel like 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 it gives you power like the more we're united the more power we have so I always feel united like it's bigger than just me I'm always a part of a team so that's a great part about being a twin sounds like a lot of you know powerful things with you and your twin i heard from my teachers that you and your brother you know are delaware's poet Lur Lur yes laureates yes laureates, mm -hmm. yes um that's really cool but um what why do you like writing poetry I, I'm, my brother and I have been writing poetry ever since we attended Warner Elementary School, actually. We, we've been writing poetry since about third or fourth grade. And when we were in this very school, one of our teachers' name was Miss Kane. Miss Kane was my favorite teacher. And I would share my little poems and short stories with her. And she always would, would write, on, write on them and give me comments, tell me how good they were. And it, it made me feel like I was such a great writer and that I had a voice. And we also had an uncle who was a poet. He encouraged us to write and express ourselves. So my brother and I, we work with children ever since we were younger. Our, our grandmother ran a foster home and we would often go there and read with the students and share our, our stories. And it gave us a sense of realizing that our, our words can make people feel better. Like we, we can speak about the problems in our community because if things that we want, we want to change. So if we, we have a problem with our schools or we have a problem with the violence in our community, let's say something about it. So we would write it in our poetry and we would share our, our poems and then people will hear what our thoughts about it. And, and if we're sharing it, then that means that individuals are listening and we're having conversations because the only way it's going to change is if you begin talking about it, having communications about it, because if you don't say anything, nothing's going to change. So we use our poetry as a, a tool of transformation, a way to bring about change in our community. So it's not just art, but it's also a way in which we, we do our social work because we're both social workers working in the community. Well, sounds like you really love being a poet. Yes. My teachers also told me that you grew up in Wilmington, in Wilmington, and are you a state representative? Yes, I, I am a state representative for the first district, proudly born and raised here in, in Wilmington, and I, I love 
Wilmington. It's it's the only place I ever want to live other than Nigeria. Nigeria is a very beautiful country, and where where my family's from, and we visit there very often. But Wilmington is the place where I was born and raised, and I will always love Wilmington. Love the first district. Love everything about our city, and just working together in our communities is is just really the place that I call home. Same. I actually got a twin too. Oh, how beautiful! Well, they're not. They're not. She's not basically my twin, but we have great communication. Yes. Um. Well, you have a lot of jobs. I do. Well, what made you want to become a representative? I was in the community and I was attending the community meeting and this was many moons ago and they were talking about the swimming pool at P.S. DuPont School and about not opening the pool for the, the kids during the summer. And, and they were saying all these reasons, no, we're not going to open up. And I would just was so mad because I'm like, why are you not opening the pool? So I left out of that, that uh, meeting and I went to my brother's house. He lives right next to the pool by P.S. and I knocked on his door and I I said I'm running for city council and and I ran just because of that meeting just because of the way they were speaking about our children so I ran for city council and I, I the first time I didn't win I didn't win the first time I lost by 67 votes and then I came back again and I won so then I spent six years on city council and being on city council it, it helps you run the city of Wilmington but you realize in the city of Wilmington like education isn't something that we control if you want to be involved in education you have to go at the state level so that's what encouraged me to be a state representative because some of, some of the issues that I wanted to impact, such as education, such as the crime, they're bigger than just Wilmington. They're really big issues and you have to address it at the state level where the, the resources and dollars from our taxes come from the federal government, then to the state, then some come to the local government. So being at the state level, I'm only able to help create laws and dictate policy to say how the, the money can be spent, how we utilize our tax dollars for the good of everyone. Wow, thanks for sharing. I have one more question, if that's okay with you. Yes. I heard you and your brother wrote a book. Can you tell us um, a little bit about your book? Yes, our, our latest book, I wish I had brought it with me, it's entitled Homework for Breakfast, and it's uh, our first children's book, and it was printed on Paragon Press, and it tells the story of, of a nine-year-old boy named Chris who comes to our after-school program, and Chris just doesn't like to do homework, and so it tells the tale, and he actually ends up going through his homework and not doing it his best, and had to end up doing it all the way over, and he had to stay up late fixing it, and then it was time for breakfast, so he, the book is entitled Homework for Breakfast, but it's a great funny story and just to inspire our children to give them something to, to laugh about and understanding that the, the harder you work the more you will reap the benefits of it and, and doing your best in school really prepares you to have the best life well I would really want to read that book excellent thank you brother Namdi for joining us and thank you Thunderbird family for watching I'm your news I'm I'm scholar Amaya excuse me for WTKN channel 8 news program have a great day bye bye